There's actually a long history of animals and university campuses. Some animals are actually being experimented on in biomedical labs. They're being treated horribly. And, but there are also, of course, animals who live on campus. There's squirrels, birds, bats. And it's actually quite interesting that many universities have decided that they want their campuses to be animal-friendly campuses. And so they're trying to find ways of how to, for example, protect the nesting sites of birds so that st students don't disturb them, but also reducing the use of poisons to kill mice and rats and so on. For university students, starting with, with the university campus can often be a really interesting place to start new relations with animals. There's a real generational shift in people thinking about animals. There's been such an explosion, animal ethology, our understanding of who animals are. We've moved beyond the old idea that animals are dumb or passive or incompetent, and people are much more aware of the quite amazing things that, that animals can be and can do. And I find that there's a much greater curiosity amongst young people uh, compared to older people. So yeah, I think there's hope for the future. Some days I wake up and I'm very optimistic and I think things are, are changing changing for the better. And then there are other days, and actually when I look at the statistics, it's quite depressing. I mean, so the number, the, just in terms of the sheer numbers of animals being harmed and killed for human benefit, it's increasing every year in, in the labs, in, in factory farms and so on. So I, I think it's actually a paradox that people's attitudes towards animals are becoming better, but their actual treatment as a society is getting worse. And I think that's unstable, and it's hard to know <laughs> uh, which way it's going to turn.